I'd like to place a room service order, please. Yes, what is your special, Jesse? It says to ask for the special. The Creole, the Creole special. And what does that come with? What's a, what's a new new? Does that have fish in it? Lots of meat? Yeah, I'll take one of those, send you right out. New Orleans native Nunu continues to rise as one of the predominant young African-American LGBT voices. Through his website, yourboynunu.com, as well as his popular YouTube channel, he has entered the latest chapter in his exciting journey. Having relocated from Houston, Texas to Los Angeles, California, the Southern Charmer is now ready to take Hollywood by storm. Life is grand. You've been going through a lot of changes lately, so I hope yeah. we'll get, get to get into a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. You recently moved to LA. Yes. So why don't you tell us a little bit about why you chose to do that? Well, I chose to uh, move to LA because I always wanted to move to LA for a long, long time. So now, since I have the opportunity to come to LA, I think this is the right time to come because there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, I'm transitioning from a blogger to an interviewer. So it's, it's more convenient for me to get the celebrities to interview here in LA instead of Houston, Texas. Uh, what can we expect from this new cycle of videos from you? I'm doing a new show, it's called The Buzz. It's actually going to start every Friday. I'm going to talk about entertainment, uh, politics, to any, anything that affects the community, all the above. Also, I'm still interviewing celebrities. I got a couple of interviews coming up. Uh, for celebrities, reality stars, you know, you know, just want to get my views. Tell us about any of them. Well, it's in the works. Okay, it's in the works. And have you had any experience with any haters? Oh, have we all? You know, <laughs> right? Do tell. Especially, uh, it's kind of crazy. I c I could tell if viewers have their own opinion, but it's kind of crazy coming from other YouTubers and other bloggers. It's kind of shade, but I normally just ignore the hate the negativity and sometimes it get it kept it get kind of outrageous when they put my name in their tweets and saying i'm uneducated because i'm from new orleans louisiana and i think that's very stereotypical you know for being from the south and think i'm uneducated but it just people who you just hate and just want what i have and and just probably jealous and you of, said that's coming from other youtubers or other yeah other youtubers have been going on twitter and going behind my back talking about me and stuff like that, but I really don't give a fuck because I have a lot of mentors in my life. B. Scott, shout out to B. Scott. She, he, B. Scott, he, he has, you know, mentored me, telling me, you know, fuck the haters and do what you got to do. And I think, you know, I, you know, I took that. I took that, you know, because there's a lot of stuff. People don't understand. Uh, this community is so small. Right. There's a whole world outside of the gay community. The straight community, they got all kind of, you know, it's the whole world is out there. So when you can't, you know, when you can't, when you feel as you stressed out with this small community, I don't think you can make it in life because there's more things out there than dealing with these small, stupid people. Well, you said they they they, they hate on you. They say that you're uneducated, but you're not. You are educated. Yeah. So, so. why would they? What would prompt them? To, I guess just they gotta find something. The haters. He, he know who who he is and. You know, it's it's. I just ignore them. I, if when you ignore them, like if you reply to their tweets or if you reply to email negativity, they're showing them attention, and it's, it probably want more views and probably want other attention. But or maybe I he wants something else. Maybe he wants to get in bed with you. No. Want some pillow talk? <laughs> get the, the shades yeah. off. Is that all right? I was gonna ask you. Is that how you come to bed? I mean, I ain't hating, but. <laughs> No. Okay, it's looking still cute. Now, when we mm -hmm. met before, the first time, it was right after you had that um, 
Very controversial video. Uh, before my videos got hacked, I did have a video well, about people born gay. Mm -hmm. So I I gave my opinion. You know, when I upload videos to YouTube, I don't take anything back. I don't delete videos. I don't I don't take anything back. That's how I feel at that time. And I feel as though my views has slightly changed a little bit. How so? Um, by being born gay. Um, I do believe now, since doing a lot of research, that people s slightly are born gay. To me. Slightly. Well, it, it takes, uh, I don't know. I've been, uh, this little piece, like my arm or something. It's like, well, I, well, well, I can re um, revise it as I'm, I wasn't born gay. And there's a lot of, they got a lot of gay people in the world who believe they wasn't born gay also. But when I upload that video, I kind of like, felt like no one is born gay and I kind of like, you know. Because that's the way you felt about yourself. yourself. So, so I thought, well, this other people is lying because I haven't born gay, so I think they're lying about themselves. So I just want to apologize to people who got offended. And if you was born gay, you was born gay, hallelujah, whatever. <laughs> that's, you know, that's up to you, but I don't think I was born gay. I think it was my decision. You know, you were a preacher's kid, mm -hmm. raised in the Bible Belt. So how, how has your family responded to, like, your channel and your show? Mm -hmm. And mm. the fact that you would want to marry a man. Well, it's kind of interesting that you asked me that because I had a conversation with my dad the other day, and he, all out of the blue, he just said, "We need to do something about your lifestyle." Now, picture this: my dad's a pastor, but I got him together when I said my next comment. I said, "Dad, what are you talking about? My lifestyle? Even though I'm lying, he believes me." I said, "Dad, what are you talking about? I don't have sex." I don't do none of this. I'm just living a gay man, so what are you talking about? Oh, the fornication, the doo -doo -doo. I said, Dad, pause. I just said I don't have sex. I don't do none of this, none of that. So what are you talking about? I said, people have the stereotypical thought about a gay man that they're freaks and they'll do anything and they uh, molesters or whatever, but people gotta understand that there are people out there who just want to live their life and love someone and they, that pe people don't even have sex. So he, he was like, okay, all right. You know, I, I told him that it's not, whatever you just, whatever you see on TV about a gay man, I think that's bringing more thoughts to people. That's why people don't like gay people what they see on TV. And right. they, they think that we living like that. And I don't Everybody live whatever, that. the real housewife of Atlanta gays and all these kind of gays and the reality star gays. I don't live my life like that. And people think that everyone lives like that. Now you said that you know, you weren't having sex, but you also said that was a lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I'm single and I like, you know, every now and then. Mingle. Uh, yeah. Mm. Sex is good and healthy, but it, it can be good. deadly. Right. But it's healthy and, and yeah, it's supposed to do it. So how often should one do it to be considered healthy? I mean, whew. Well, you should do it whenever you feel as though you, there's a need to. That all you can get some lube and jack off and do what you gotta do. But at the same time, if you're horny and if the other person horny, I don't see a problem with having sex. Sex is good. Sex is good. And how often do you do it? How often I have sex? So then, do you think that um, from the backlash that you received from that video, are you, uh, do you, I guess, think about what you're going to put up before you post it or do you just... I do more research, more research now, Wikipedia, Google, there's more, you know, different um, places I can go to do some research about what I'm talking about. Like I did more research about gay marriage and you know, a lot of controversial topics that I've been talking about. So I've been, I've been doing a lot of research and uh, i got gotten better over how the years. You, so how do you feel about gay marriage? I want to get married to a man. But I feel as though... I feel as though, even though a lot of my family members don't agree with me, I had a big debate, probably everybody's had with, with their family. Um, if you love that person regardless of uh, sex or race or whatever, I think you should do what you feel as, you know, if you love that person, you should have the right. You should live, you should want to live the rest of your life with that person. And even though, what I want to say, even though that you probably don't believe and same-sex marriage. Do believe in this constitution because the constitution clearly states that you know you shouldn't discriminate, 
you know, of you know, race or gender, you know, with, with marriage. Right. So regardless, if I was a pastor and I don't like this, I don't like same-sex marriage. But you got the Bible also says that you should, you know, you know, respect the laws of the land. Uh -huh. So if, if the law clearly says you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't discriminate, don't discriminate. And whatever I do in my life shouldn't affect anyone in their lives. Right. At so. the end of the day, I have to be accountable for my salvation. Yes, exactly. You need to get busy saving yourself. Exactly. And what instead of Stop judging people. Just right. do what you got to do. And just, the best thing you can do is just pray for someone. If you feel as though you right. don't agree, just pray. What would you look for in a mate? Amazed. And don't give me that corny shit. Oh, someone who's <laughs> honest and good. I mean, we all, we all know that stuff. But. Well, just like uh, Sizzle two years ago, you had a video about if you, you know, uh, is it discriminating or mm -hmm. what is that? Was it the was that the no fats? The, yes. Or was it prejudice or prejudice yes, with so the fats and fems? What um what attracts anyone is looks. Right. That's Initially, maybe yeah. That should be number one because you don't want to wake up in the morning and. You turn to your right and a big ass glumpy motherfucker looking at you. You want what someone if I you like attract a big ass glumpy. Well, that's you. If you're attracted <laughs> to that, that's you. But you know, yes. Yeah. But looks change. It does. So if, if you're going on that, then you you setting yourself up for failure because no one's gonna meet that. Always gonna meet that expectation. Well, that's my preference. I was joking with my grandmother. I was like, you coming to my. If I marry a man, we come to my my own wedding. She said, "Hell no!" <laughs> but yeah, that's what my family is. I have three gay sisters, so it's kind of wow. it's kind of helps. The hell was in the water we in, in Tulsa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell was in the water up there? Uh huh. So, um, would you? So then you would you would invite your family to the to a wedding if you were? If they didn't want to come, that's up to them. That's that's if the, it shows how a. Uh, people are if they show their true colors if they don't come don't want to come to my wedding they want to see me live happy and be happy they should support me and that's what every person should do but do you do understand that they're religious with their religious views mm -hmm. and um, if that's something that, that they're totally against how do we how do we bridge that and meet in the middle somewhere and, and agree it can't disagree? because I can't I can't change their minds about their religion and if they, if they don't want to come that they don't have to come. I'll just send them some pictures and a postcard. <laughs> so then why did you choose to tell your dad a lie? If you are actually sexually active, why would you try to hide? I mean, I think I understand the point you were making, but why mm -hmm. did you choose to lie to him? The reason why I lied to him, I just want to make a point also. And because it's, 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 a, it's a privacy thing. I don't think your parents is, should know what you do in your, in your bedroom. I don't think your mother or, or parents or any mother or parents would ask them, do, are you sexually active or what do you do because I'm a grown man right. and it is my business. I don't ask him, he's been fucking my, my stepmother. I don't ask him none of that because I don't want to know. <laughs> so it's like, it's none of his business, but I just want to give him, you know, let him know that it's not always like that and you can't just judge me. Right, and even if you are in a relationship or you are sexually active, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you're a whore or that you're, that you're just running around exactly. with with them, exactly. but, but yeah, we have to break down those stereotypes and those images. I think that the that mainstream uh, people have more the media that they perpetrate. Exactly. So, who are your favorite YouTubers? Who? The only people I watch on YouTube is the Scorpion Show, of course. Um, Afrikino Boy is my best friend. I hear him recording. He's my roommate. I hear him recording the other room all the time, yelling and screaming. <laughs> uh, that must be interesting living with, because he's uh he's always on high. It seems like yeah, yeah, his yeah. energy is like off the chain. Yes. I gotta see about getting him in this bed. You should. Mm. Mm. I'm sure he got a lot to tell you. I bet. So what's next for you? What's next for me? I'm going. I'm finishing these interviews. I'm on my grind, talking to a lot of managers with these artists who want to get their you know their artists out. I'm doing a lot of blogs. I have two new co-hosts from The Buzz, The Weekly Buzz. We're going to give you entertainment, the politics, anything that's going on in current events. I'm also um, going to be shooting a calendar for 2012. It's going to be... Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I'm trying to make some money. <laughs> I'm trying to make some money. But hopefully, you know, I get everything together personally and 
you know, everything with photographers and stuff like that. It's in the works. And I, I'm traveling. I'm emailing a, a lot of people back and forth about hosting Pride events this year. So I'm going to be all over. I can't wait to go to New York, D.C., Chicago, Miami, of course. This year is going to be a really good year for me. I'm, I'm really excited. Really excited. We've hung out in where? We've hung out in Miami, D.C., L.A. LA. New York? I can't uh, remember if we were in New no. York at the same time. We never, I don't think we were there at the same time. No. I think Scorpio and I have the record for hanging out together in the most cities. Most cities. Right, YouTube, I've hung out <laughs> with the, in the most cities. Nice but way. continue success. Mm -hmm. Thank you for climbing in bed for a little pill yeah. talk. Oh, now you got to give me just you got to give us one little secret about me, something that we don't. A secret about me? And something related, like in the bedroom, you know what? Hmm. I never had any complaints. That's public knowledge. I ain't know. <laughs> I never, uh, secret about me. Hmm. Something I could say that's not X-rated. Oh. Oh, you know, yeah, if I could have Alexis Tyler on this show, definitely oh, whatever no. you got to say. Well, definitely in comparison, right? Mm. It's all good. I'm not going to keep you on the spot. You can tell me afterwards. I'm going to let okay. you go. I'll tell you. I'm Lonnell Williams. Please tune in to your boy Nunu. Um, is it still your boy new Your boy new new dot com. And it's uh, YouTube and follow him on Twitter. Twitter and I'll same put the, thing. the links up on there. Uh, again, thank you for choosing Pillow Talk and all the love and support that you guys continue to give the show. Always stand in your life.